Hey guys and welcome to another vlog. So currently I am at the Honey Center which is located in Walkworth and it's all about honey. So we're gonna go inside and have a look. Mum and Dad have already made their way in and I just thought to show you guys um, how the Honey Center here looks. If you love honey, definitely worth a stop over I would say. Just heading at the Honey Center now. They've got a wide variety of honeys over here. They've even got a honey cafe. And I even read online that they have a, um, what do you call it, um, honey tours as well, like educational honey tours. But I'm not sure they're still operating that right now. I will have a look. But uh, yeah, let's have a look. So the awesome thing about the Honey Center is that they have their own tasting station. So that simply means you can taste any honey you want before purchasing it. And the Honey Center has an extremely wide variety of different honeys, different flavors, different sizes and everything. So just behind me. There is the honey tasting station and you can taste a wide variety of honey so that's what we're gonna do now. Lucas. What honey do you want to taste for? I don't Try know. Just looking exactly the sticks. Let's put them in here. No? So those are the sticks you try with. These are all the honeys you can taste and then just dispose of your sticks oh. in there. So the first one I've decided to try is Boda Power. Mum doesn't like it. What's it like? Nice. Is it? Nice. So I just found some blueberry honey which I've never seen before and there's also boysenberry, ginger, strawberry, all those. So you've got your Let's see how those boysenberry honey tastes. Mm. Very unique, very pleasant. I quite like that one. And if you bring your own container, you can fill your own honey at a cheaper price as well. You just fill from these stations here. Yep. So just behind the testing station, there's also a live bee wall. Look, you can actually see the live bees uh, making making honey. It is so cool. And look at all the honeycomb as well. You can see the honeycomb. So we've got two walls like that. Another one there. There would be hundreds of bees in that one. Especially in this one. This one has a lot. Oh, there's one more. Look at that natural looking honeycomb. So cool. Check it out. Just some information about bees. <laughs> they even have some souvenirs unique to the honey center. Yes, and just across from the shop is the cafe. This is more of a so the laboratory will come back and say, okay, this batch is. They've even got the medicinal honey here. They've got 10 plus, 12 plus. Your 18 plus sign. Lowest. 5 plus is the lowest. And then 18 plus is the highest. 
And just behind the refill tanks, they have their little factory. Honey Center factory. So right here at the Honey Center, they have a wide variety of honeys. You've got your normal honeys, you've got your medicinal honeys, and you've got your flavored honeys. Aside honeys, you also have um, your skincare products, and you also have like candles, gifts, chocolates, lollies, toys, beeswax, honeycomb. You've got everything to do with honey. Um, even you've even got um, tea towels as well that have pictures of bees and um, utensils and stuff. So it's everything to do with honey. But um, the good thing about the honey center's honey is that it is, it is completely natural. There is no added chemicals or preservatives or anything harmful of that sort. It's pure, natural. Everything is produced by our mother nature on this earth. So you can eat tons of it, you can eat loads of it, and you won't feel guilty. It won't have any harmful effects in your body. So um, definitely if you're heading down to Matakana or Warkworth side, you have to visit the Honey Center. It is a must. It is such a cool place. We've spent like at least um, an hour or so in this, in this store. So um, even though it is a store, it has a lot to offer, as I said. A lot of places that sell honey don't offer um, Manuka honey tasting or any honey tasting of that sort because honey is so um, expensive. Especially New Zealand produced honey is one of the best in the world. If not one of the best, it is the best in the world. So yeah, you cannot miss this place. If you're a honey fan, definitely come to the honey center. You just stacks and stacks of honey shelves and shelves of honey definitely not a miss and even an awesome sight just to see um you know them how they you know package their honey and in, in, the, in their fa little factory there and just um access from the honey center store is also the cafe so this is the cafe Just outside this window, which is between the cafe and the store, is the honeybee houses where they actually make, make the honey and the honeycomb. It's so beautiful just seeing them, you know. Um, I mean, this looks absolutely awesome. Look, take a closer look. You can see the honeybees flying. So just behind the honeybee boxes is an actual beehive that they've put there. That is so cool. Someone, someone and dad have decided to buy some honey. Some Sorry about the big bag. Oh, no, we, we're down to it. We can recycle it. Yeah, no, we, yeah. I use these if I get anything from here for my recycling, like milk bottles and things and you can just put it straight in the recycling oh, yeah. because they don't want plastic here. Yeah. 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 Just outside the honeybee center they do have a large drum here if you can see. And what this drum is was back in the day this is how the honeybees used to make honey. Like if you look inside it's a little bit dirty now but this is where the honeybees used to make their honey. And then just there you can see a oh, little hole. That would have been where they attached the tap to, to pour out the honey. Yeah. So cool. Absolutely awesome. And if you want, they have a um, small section uh, called Visitor Point where you can just get your brochures of things to do and see around the area. Or here. Some outdoor seating just across there and loads and loads of parking behind me you can see loads and loads of parking just parking everywhere so don't have to worry about parking there's also toilets if you need to use the restrooms for stopover or you get tired of um shopping around you have restrooms 
So everyone, I really hope you enjoyed my vlog at the Honeybee Centre. And if I haven't emphasised enough, if you are heading out this way, this is a must-to-see place. You must not miss this place. Honeybee Centre, located in Walkworth. Don't miss it. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.